Welcome to Cherry Charge. This is an introduction and a little bit of a get to know all about the KRI or the key reversal indicator. Now this indicator really has one job. It is basically to tell you where the potential for major market reversals are. And what you're looking at right now is the actual workspace that you'll see inside of TradeStation. And essentially what this is showing is a few things. So you have the top part of the chart, which is the chart of the S&P 500. And what it also has is various colorations. So you see this orange to yellow, down to green, and back up to red, bright red. And that coordinates also to the bottom part of the chart, which is more of the trend, where the trend is, and actually where the daily number is. So this is marking one day and another day and another day. Now, what we're looking for here is a very significant overheating or an oversold situation that develops. Now, the way we can tell that is that we see that the KRI indicator actually shows a reading of above a five, start looking at it above a four, and this is the range where you see the daily readings. In addition to that, you'll see that there is a dial, a gauge that comes up to show you what the reading actually is and at any given time. And then what you get furthermore is an entire discussion of what that means. So this is real time, and what's happening is that we're using a variety of different metrics and measures plus an algorithm that we developed in order to have a measurement that is reliable of where the level of froth or fear may be in a market to a point where you can actually utilize it for either entering a position in the markets whether it's the nasdaq the s p or maybe looking at your portfolio itself or at the other side of the coin is maybe looking for a hedge when you get markets that are overheating and in a situation where they are way too aggressively being bought, maybe it's a time that there is some significant amount of overheating that goes on. Now, a couple of the rules. First of all, we see these as very quick and uh, very possibly temporary moves. And we say, for example, is that when the market gets into an overheated state, like it did, for example, uh, back when you saw the cluster formation starting, look for a potential level of market to start looking to reverse the trend within one to three days, and then it will potentially move back towards trend if you see that the, the, there is a layoff or a reduction in the KRI. Now, if you take a look at this, for example, and you can see a few things. So we saw again that there was a cluster formation here, and we call these cluster formations, and there's one other thing I'll show you in a second when it really gets overheated or oversold. You're also seeing that obviously there was a slope here of the daily trend on the bottom part of the chart of the KRI indicator that shows that there was obviously some heating going on. When you get into these levels of market and equilibrium right along the zero line, right along the zero line, that's the zero line there, what happens is you could say that, okay, this is a time that there is no definitive potential for overheating or oversold. But once you get to a level where you see start seeing fours and fives, et cetera, well, at that point, what happens is that you add those up and you start getting a few of those together and you get a cluster, we start marking those for you. And when you start seeing those clusters develop, oftentimes what you'll see is a reversal. And I can show you that many times. We see it here when we had an overheated situation. We see it here that obviously it came up a little bit, then in the next one to three days it came down. And even if we go back further, we can take a look and see, for example, I'll slide this over a little bit for you, that there are times that the market does sell off or does get really in rally mode and there is no particular indicator because the trend continues. But if you go back far enough and you start looking, for example, at the times where you saw, for example, here in uh, right at this level here in November of 2012, you saw a very definitive point of where a market reversal was potentially occurring. You saw that there was a very quick movement down. You saw that a cluster formed. And once you get over that point, you could say there will be a reversal. Now, whether or not the reversal holds or goes the other direction will all depend. But you wanted to be aware of the fact that you did see that there was a continuation of a movement down from October all the way through 
the midst part of November, and then all of a sudden you got an oversold reading, and that oversold reading was a plus four or more, and obviously what happened is that it gave you the signal that there's something that has to be done here. Now, when you get even further into the levels of being either oversold or overheated, you may actually see something that looks like this. These are the magenta bars that when you get to a level that is incredibly overdone, where you see that there is a level of, right here, level of clusters that form, and on top of the clusters forming, we start seeing magenta bars. And then you look down at the bottom and you see that, okay, wait, hey, there's, there is a six or a seven that's registering there, and this is really coming down fast. The potential for a reversal here is very great. Again, these are, these are important areas because they can be very sharp and they can be very quick. Now, does that mean that the trend will continue in any particular direction? It's possible, but we're really talking about a short-term uh, signal here that gives you a, a very important level to be looking at so that you don't get trapped. You don't get into a situation where you're either short in, in, in this kind of environment here and then all of a sudden you get trapped, which may happen, but at least you know now, hey, something's going on and you can do a contra trade or you can start looking at limiting the amount of positions you have in that other area. Now again, you can point out many of these. Look, I mean, we have another one here and the market did reverse almost immediately. Three days or four days later, the market did reverse on this one as well. So these are very important points to look at for you to understand where the market turns are going to come. Because at the end of the day, in a market that has volatility and is not committed to any particular level of, of interest, you want to make sure that you have the opportunity to look at Now look at over here. Now here, here, back in 12, you see that, you know, hey, we have all these clusters forming. And the, the fact is that every couple of days we saw it move up, then down, then move up and down. And then obviously the trend did continue in the same direction that we did see it beforehand. So when you see something like that, you have to be aware that, you know what, be very careful because any reversals could lead to a very significant downside mark. But already you, you're finding that, you know, you've, you don't stick to this. It's only a one to three or maybe a four day trade afterwards and then you lighten up. This is important because you want to look at hedging the portfolio or really entering a contra position with this. And those are usually very, very fast, very quick and very powerful. And the main thing is that at any time that you need help, you could obviously check out the videos that we have. You could check out the uh, various uh, events that are available for you. That's on uh, on this as well. And you can just simply look. I'll just bring that up a little bit for you. You can see that we have all this available for you right here inside of here. And this will, again, be very dynamic. Right now, there's a reading of about two on the KRI indicator, which is showing that there is a good amount of uh, overheating that is in the markets right now. But it did come down from a, a five and, and then four and three. Now it's a two. So right now it's, it's in between, but the cluster formations aren't there, but there is a concern that things are getting a little bit overdone. So anytime you get the green, you gotta start thinking about moving into the opposite direction and thinking that maybe things are overdone. And if you get the clusters, it's a further confirmation and then magenta is even more of a confirmation. And then finally, if you get it on the upside and you see the red dot clusters forming and you see the red bars really adding up and starting to spike on the bottom half, of the indicator and then also if you happen to see the rare magenta you know hey you know what this is time to do something it takes the guesswork out of when, when to know to get in or out of the particular investment it's the kri indicator it's available on the trade station app store and you can get that for a free trial for 10 days it's a pretty reasonably priced indicator and it really just runs like this at all times we'll give you an alert that will be uh, available if the indicator does go into the oversold or into the overheated zone. There will be verbal and audio alerts that come up. So all that's there for you and it works pretty well. Check it out. The KRI indicator or the key reversal indicator from Trigger Charts.